This here is the Sony Digital Ma Mavica. It's 1.3 megapixels. This was released in the year 2000. This was made when digital cameras just started to become a thing, but flash storage was so ridiculously expensive that this ran on floppy disks. A few years ago, I watched a video by P. Sivrai on a similar model of these cameras. That one was 0.3 megapixels, I believe, and I wanted one ever since. They were more expensive back then. Now, uh, that was back then. That was only a few years ago, maybe like two. Um, but anyway, these are cheap now this was only like 35 dollars i really wanted to capture like the old aesthetic you know that's becoming a huge thing nowadays getting old digital cameras so i wanted to take it to the next level and get a nice big incredible looking digital camera because this thing just looks looks you know hefty um <laughs> anyway let's load up our floppy disk here and power it on i'll show you sample shots from the camera at the end of the video that was a cool noise. Let's power it on. Before that, I want to say floppy disks are still kind of expensive. Kind of strange. Anyway, I'm going to be showing some samples directly off the disks from my Windows 98 computer um, at the end of the video. First, we're going to do a little overview. Now, the power button, pretty stiff. you got to push it all the way over. Here we go. We get the amazing boot-up screen. Even it's a nice backlight display. We get the incredible... Uh, I'm just going to take a... Uh, Sample photo of something. Uh, what do we take a photo of? My amazing uh, iPhone 4S. Maybe I'll make a video about this. Subscribe and find out. Uh, oh, I was going to make a... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I remember, I was going to try to say something. Let's do this instead because I get to promote my, a different video. We're going to be trying to use T-Mobile 2G in the U.S. with this phone eventually or the 4S. Uh, subscribe. Don't miss that. Anyway, let's take a photo here. So we're going to switch it to still. Um, the thing I really like about this camera is just how it looks, you know, like both the how the photos look and how the actual physical camera looks itself. So let's just here, the uh, screen holds the photos back. So the photo, don't take the photo quality seriously from the shot. I just want to hear you listen to the amazing floppy disk noises. It would be helpful if I wasn't blocking the dang thing with the strap. Take a pic this nice picture. I hope you could hear those incredible floppy disk noises. And this also has a movie feature. I believe this takes about five second videos. That's the uh, maximum you can take. Uh, so let's take a five second video real quick of something. Let's do a little setup tour. Here's this nice keyboard, mouse, all that good stuff over there. All of this junk. Yeah, five second recording. More floppy disk noises. I'm pretty sure it can hold about five photos in one video. That was my experience. Now let's switch over to play. You can see that our video is super small. It's 320 by something resolution. Um, yeah, every time you switch a photo, that's our photo there. Would look better with the flash off and not on the screen. The photos actually look surprisingly good. Remember to stick around for that. All right, let's play this video now. The screen is not holding the video quality back. It is just terrible. The microphone, it's okay. Now, there's, these have these cool features to try to save battery. That's another reason why I picked this camera, because of the rechargeable battery. And if I grabbed an old digital camera and run on double A's, nope, this is rechargeable. You could turn off the LCD backlight to save battery life. And this little thing, I forget what the, exactly what they call it, but it's supposed to be, let's see if we can do something here. Yeah, you see that? You can see the screen a little bit. Light shines through it and lights the screen. It doesn't work very well in bright areas. So it's pretty useless, but it's a cool little feature. Now that we took a few photos, let's take the disc out, which is kind of difficult. You gotta press really hard and then it shoots out. So then let's go run over to my Windows 98 PC and get the photos off. Don't wanna mix the disc up. <laughs> It'd be impossible to find. While this computer is turning on, this is the most annoying computer ever made. It takes 20 minutes to turn on, crashes all of the time, um, yeah, and refuses to boot off of anything, period. It's the, but it's the only computer I have with a working floppy drive. Now that's on, Windows 98, amazing. This is a good period correct monitor too. Anyway, let's insert the disk into the drive. Um, open up my computer. This supports USBs. That's how I've been getting the files to my actual computer. 
I plug a USB in, copy the files from the drive, and then boom. We're just going to copy these off here. Crazy how long it takes to copy, like, a few hundred kilobytes off of this disk. Some amazing floppy noises here. Hopefully you can hear them. All right. It was too late there, but it's fine. Let's open up. Oh, I forgot to say the resolution. I'm pretty sure this is actually 720p, 1280 by 720. And you can see this is our this is our photo here. It's very zoomed in, so. But yeah, it's acceptable quality, and I'm going to be using this camera. And once again, I'll show you some samples. Now let's open the video on a big screen. This still looks horrendous. Yeah, there you go. That is the video quality from the Mavica. I should try to record it. You know what? If this video gets 10 likes... No, no, actually, I need subscribers more. If this video gains me 10 subscribers, I'll make an entire video using this camera in five-second increments. That'll be fun. All right, now I think it's time to show actually show some samples. This is a picture of my dog laying in the grass at the highest quality this camera supports. It looks really quite good. Here's another picture of the dog in the grass. It does struggle a little bit with like how bright the dog is. As soon as you take a picture in any sort of low light level, it just looks terrible. Here's a picture of a sunflower. I really like the old school kind of, a little bit like a film camera kind of vibe it gives. Um, the pictures still look really good for such an old camera, and I'll continue using this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all later.